Okay, uh, good evening. Uh, this is Professor David De Los Ries. Okay, my topic for the session will be <coughs> cancellation errors. Cancellation errors and the simplification of algebraic equations. Okay, let's proceed. Cancellation errors. <coughs> I will give you example number one and number two why we cannot cancel uh, this uh, two two expression here uh, a numerator and denominator example number one the fraction x plus 5 over x okay uh, we cannot cancel this x here and this x okay According to the annotations, you can cancel x in both the numerator and denominator. Why? x in the numerator is attached to pi by a plus sign. You can cancel x here. Why? Because this x here is uh, connected by plus sign to pi. Okay? They are connected. So, meaning to say, uh, this term here is different from here, so you cannot cancel x here. The only time you can cancel x on the numerator is actually, if I will try to rewrite the equation, it, it should be something like this. x, okay, multiplied by 5, and this should be x. We can cancel x here and this. If the operation on the numerator is multiplication. But if there is a plus sign over here, you cannot cancel it. Okay? So the only time you can cancel x in the both the numerator and denominator is when the operation on the numerator is actually multiplication. That is according to annotation number 3. You can cancel x if the operation between x and pi is multiplication. Uh, this x here, okay, got a relation with pi, and the relation is actually multiplication operation, right? You can cancel. But the, the relation of x with respect to 5 is uh, a plus, okay? Or maybe a minus. You cannot cancel x and x. Okay, uh, that's very clear. If this x here, is attached to pi by the operation of addition, you cannot cancel x and x. Supposing it is subtraction, it's it's the same. You cannot cancel it. The only time you can cancel x and x is actually if x and pi is a, what you call this related with the operation multiplication. Right? If the operation between them is multiplication, okay, you can cancel x and x. Okay, that, that's very clear. Example number two. Sine of angle x over x. Okay, you cannot cancel x here and x here. Why? Because x here, the x on the denominator is different from the x on the denominator. Why? Uh, because uh, there is a sine uh, function over here. Right? An example of this, try to bring out an example, actual example of this. If x is 45 degrees, it will be equivalent to pi over 4 radians. And if we try to divide this, this is 0.75. Okay? If we take the sine of 45 degrees, it is 0.707. Right? The value of x in terms of radians is 0.75. So if we try to substitute it here, sine x is actually 0.707, okay? And this is divided by 0.75. They are not the same, right? So actually you cannot cancel it. <laughs> you cannot cancel it, right? Because uh, sine x is uh, another term and x is just another term. For them to be equal, for them to be, for them to be cancelled, you eliminate this sine x. Uh, but there is sine x over there, right? 
So as long as uh, there is side X over here Side, side function As long as there is sign here Okay You cannot cancel X here with this Okay, uh, that's very clear So these are the so-called uh, cancellation errors In the simplifications of problems under algebra Okay Good evening from Los Angeles. This is Professor David Jadil Sushi.